I'm going to do a little moose processing tonight. And um, this is a tenderloin off of a moose. Weighs in at three pounds. And so what I'm going to do is cut this probably in half and um, strip off the sinew here. And that way it'll be ready for the table. I'm also going to do a back strap off a moose and we'll look at that. And so this is a back strap off of a moose. It weighs about 13 pounds. Just, what I'm going to do with this tenderloin here, so I want to strip this part off here, and so I'm going to put that piece straight down on the bottom. I want to get the knife underneath that sinew. And there's the piece of sinew. And that's what it ends up looking like, so I'll pretty much strip that off. Then I'm going to cut off this extra fat here, which isn't much. Now, I'm going to cut it about there, about there. For this piece I'll end up making roast out of, which is like this is the best roast ever. And then I'll package these two here up in vacuum packer bags. We'll take a look at the vacuum packer here. This is a pretty cool setup. I've showed this doing fish. So this is a commercial grade vacuum packer. It's called a chamber vacuum packer. If I open the lid and put this in there. Okay, so I put it in. This is the bar. This is where the sealer is. I'm going to shut the lid. There. And push start. And this is pretty cool here. It sucks all the air out of here. You can see right here, that's how much air it's sucking out. It sucked out 99 point four, five, six, seven, eight. And th then it holds that. It's got 99.8% of the air out. It holds it now for almost 10 seconds. And then it seals it and then it lets the air back in and so it sucked all the air out it sealed it and then it put air back in there and then what you get out is this so there's no air in there and that's sealed tight all right i'm going to finish processing my moose today um, this is one hind quarter i just weighed it and it weighed in at 113 pounds just for one hind quarter Granted, there's two hindquarters on a moose. I've already done all of the neck meat, all of the front shoulders, um, which are all hamburger for me. I mean, I clean those up, skin them up, make them really nice, and we make all that into burger. I've done the back straps and the tenderloins, which I think you saw earlier. And then today I got two hindquarters left to do. And in this, there'll be some steaks, some roasts, and probably a third of it will turn into hamburger. So we end up eating a lot of hamburger. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire thing, buy each piece of individual muscle off the bone, and then I'll just have a stack of muscles that I'll end up cutting up into steaks and roasts and then some burger trim in there. And for, that, for this project, I'm going to use two different knives. One is called a boning knife, and the other is, I don't even know what they call this. I use it to skin fish with, but it ends up it works really good to flip things upside down and slide off the meat from the from the fat or from the um, the outside piece. And so those are the two knives I'll be using. I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear gloves today because this meat is super cold. It's been I've had it outside in my trailer here, and it's been between 27 and about 42 degrees. So it's not quite freezing, but it's cold in the refrigerator and it's that way all the way through. So the gloves will help keep my hands a little bit warm. And so I'm gonna go ahead and um, strip all this meat off the bone. I'll run a time lapse on that so that you don't have to see all the details. Um, it, you know, it's gonna take probably 30 minutes or so. So nobody wants to watch that for 30 minutes. So I'll make that go quick and then we'll get to some cutting up stuff a little bit later on. There are several pounds of really nice meat. That makes really good steaks right there. We'll make some roast and some steaks out of that.
so this is a big muscle. It's just above the knee, and typically speaking, it's going to be pretty dry, but it makes really good roast. It doesn't make very good steaks because it is pretty tough. But it's a, no, oh, I don't know. It's over 10 pounds, probably less than 15. Did you notice I had my headlamp on the whole time? Hmm. Well, that's kind of silly. All right, that pretty much does it. So there's not a whole lot left in there. Um, we will boil this and um, and make a broth out of it. And any meat that's left on there, which is hardly any. Um, end up getting used in that and it'll add flavor to it so it'll be good. All right so I'm going to go ahead I got a pile of meat here I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up and decide what's roasts what's steaks and what's burgers. Um, I'll show you some of that as we go along. So this is going to be my burger bucket. So I got this knife sharpener here. This thing works really well surprisingly well. I bought this years and years ago. I've never seen another one since the time I bought it. Out. But it's got two sides. One side's a brown side and one side's a Kind of a white side. It's made of ceramic and the brown side is kind of rough so it gets things tuned up where they're supposed to be and then the white side kind of polishes it up and makes those pretty sharp. We're going to have moose stroganoff tonight and I'm going to use this piece of meat um, for that. This is a nice piece of meat out of the hind quarter. So first I'm going to cut it into small strips. This to be in smaller pieces, so I'm going to cut these to start with. Okay, that's a lot of meat, but it's going to be great. Um, so we'll look at that process in a little bit here, but it'll be nice while I'm cutting the rest of this up. I'll be making dinner at the same time, so um, be easy. quarter done. Okay, I'm going to make my moose stroganoff here. This is a crock pot. I'm turning the crock pot on. This, you know, every crock pot probably has different settings. This one I'm setting for 10 hours. This is um, onions. I'll put them all in. Put all the onions in and put all the moose meat in. I'm going to stir this up just a little bit. I'm going to put some mushrooms in there. And once it heats up and starts going, it'll be easier to stir this. I'm going to put two cans of cream of mushroom soup in here. One stick of butter. Moose meat is super, super lean. And so this stick of butter isn't going to make things crazy. And then I'm going to add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt to this. Put the lid on it and I'm just gonna let it sit there all day. Okay, so here is the finished product. I'm gonna put that over noodles and see what it's like. 